Okay, oh, oh Splint Snake O here with another figure review. This time we have the Transformers Prime Robots in Disguise Deluxe Wheeljack. Um, don't actually recall really seeing Wheeljack in the original series. Um, he wasn't in the Transformers animated series. Um, I'm not going to list every series that's been half Transformers because there's just too damn many. Um, but he's got a really cool, like, spunky character in the Transformers Prime series. And I picked up uh, this guy um, in one of my local shops, quite cheap and reasonable. And I gotta say, he's actually a really great Transformer. Um, I only really have one, two gripes with it. Yeah, two gripes, really. So, any more complaints I've got? Um, this is very, very cool, like sporty car. Kind of looks a bit like a Lamborghini. Um, I think it looks really, really cool. Very blocky, um, but very, 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 very cool. Uh, here's a quick comparison next to his buddy Bulkhead, his fellow wrecker. Uh, so they look very, very cool together. And in a great, great, great scale, because like I said, Bulkhead's a track. Well, Jack's a little spoiler car. Perhaps like he can fly under Bulkhead. So we'll come back to him later. Uh, here he is next to the uh, vehicle, which I've been using for all my Transformers reviews. Uh, as you can see, fits in very, very nicely with uh, the little vehicles. They're very cool. So yeah, he's a, he's a little grey scale. Unfortunately, here he is with Ratchet, who doesn't really fit in scale, but that's Ratchet's fault, not his. But I just want Ratchet, so I figured I'd show you. Anyway, uh, onto this guy. Um, really, really great. He's got some nice details. I don't recall, but I believe from what I've seen in previous reviews, his paint job isn't accurate. I can't remember where the splodges are. So yeah, I, I generally do not know. But he is a very very nice looking car um, and if they're wrong I don't mind because they look pretty funky still very simple grey in the back white plastic all over yeah it's white plastic all over this is not painted on these are separate pieces so that's pretty cool uh, grey grey red and green green and some silver rims which is pretty cool why couldn't they done that the bumblebee got gear anyway moving on uh, the windows are a nice blue tint, which you can see kind of virtually nothing in there because there's a black bit of plastic just there. A little bit of rubber kibble there. And inside, he has storage for his swords. He also has a weaponized mode for his sword where there's a little tab just here and here, and there's a little hole here. Hair? Can't speak. Which uh, you can see, which they tab into the feet just there, but they also can tab into that. It's a bit tricky you can't really get your finger into it but the second weaponized mode is he's got this big peg here which can also go into his in this here so if I can just get that to go in there so as you can see he's got two ways to uh, weaponize his vehicle he can have like a skid and slide or he can have a ram so that's pretty funky that there's actually two ways to do that so let's get on to transformation um, yeah, so you transform this guy is actually quite a simple but almost complex at the same time. Now what I do is I separate the back wheels. And they're kind of, I don't know if they're pegged or, let's have a look. They're really kind of firm though, but they're also at the glass here. So you need to separate this whole side panel and glass and back wheel. And they are pegged in with that black peg there, just in there. And then here, so that comes up to here. Uh, you then want to bring them all the way around like that and bring these panels here are going to come down but you can't do that just yet then lift up this part here just like that and then fully extend on this hinge here all the way around like so then you want to bring up these parts here and bring them down at the same time to line them up this will explain why in a minute so like that so you see they're like parallel. Now these two pegs here are going to go into these holes here and that is going to go into there. But you have to bring that down and at the same time it accordions straight up to reveal the head. Get it flush and then line up all those peg holes and that's his torso done. Well, okay, moving on to the feet. Separate the feet there. Now you want to rotate these round 90, uh, 180 degrees sorry, all the way around to there. And then you want to bring up these go um, out they go up first and then they go up they slide up 
all the way up like that, and then they go out. And then you rotate that round, bring the foot forward, bring the knee peg down. Kind of doesn't like to stay there, but go ahead. I'll show you this uh, this side. So rotate that around. I'm going the wrong way, that's why it's not working. They do peg into, it's very simple. I'll show you on this side actually. They're pegged in here, and they pivot here all the way around, and that peg just goes into there. Then this slides all the way up, and then it comes round this way. And it doesn't peg or anything, but it sits quite nicely, so that's quite surprising. Then you bring the leg back round, bring the knee spike out, and that's his legs done. The arms are just so easy. Grab the glass, grab the white, and you want to separate it like that. And then rotate it all the way around, and then push it back. Straighten the hand out. And then same as I'll show you. you grab the glass, grab the white, pull it, rotate it, push it back. Straighten the hand out. Bring them down, bring them down finally. Put your finger through the middle of them, separate them, and just angle them outwards like that. Ladies and gentlemen, we have Will Jack. Now, I have found, the instructions don't say this, but he's got two little gaps here and here, which hold his swords perfectly, and they don't get in the way at all of anything. Oh, I forgot to extend his arms, silly me. <laughs> bring that up, bring them down. There you go, now we have Will Jack. Uh, what can I say about this guy? He is a really, really cool transformer. Uh, the only gripes I have with him in his robot mode are his arms. Uh, I think he's got great uh, articulation. Apart from his arms are just a bit gorillish. I mean, his, his hands are right down here. That's a bit long, if you ask me. I personally would have maybe left it like that, but that doesn't look accurate to the show. But that doesn't look anywhere near as bad. Or maybe like that, I don't know. The other gripe I have is he's supposed to wield swords, but he has no actual articulation uh, rotation in the arm or the elbow. So you can't actually really get his sword to go across. That's about the most you can do. But you can only do that because of this pivot here, which I'll show later. So you can't really bring it across for a swiping mode or out for a swiping mode. So that's a bit of a, uh, a downer to me. Having said that, I still think he is a really, really, really great figure, and I do recommend picking him up if you see him. Uh, a few size comparisons quickly. Here he is next to Bumblebee, uh, and I'm gonna transform Bulkhead quickly, so back in a sec. And if Blake movie magic, we have Bulkhead in his robot mode. So you can see they're very, very nicely scaled together, and there's Prime, and a vehicle and put the bombie behind him. So you can see he's actually in a really good scale with the rest of the Transformers. He looks uh, very, very good together. Um, <laughs> so let's get these guys out of the way. I mean, it's like five minutes to transform a figure just for a two second scene. It's crazy. Um, I don't know, I don't know what, what more I can we say about the scale of him. So let's go over his articulation. Um, his head is on a ball, but it goes all the way back if you clear the part. So you can get some falling poses if you want, because he likes to jump on things, doesn't he? Uh, rotation is quite stiff to turn. Uh, you can only go as far as there to there because of uh, these parts block it. Uh, now the arms, this does not move anymore, so that doesn't go up and down. Uh, but the hinge inside it does, but you don't get a lock because there's a tab there to stop it from going too far. Uh, you've got a full 360 degree around, which you can do if you're careful. It's kind of precarious. Uh, then you have like this pivot actually in there, as I said earlier. Uh, if I just focus that, bring the light over a bit. See it rotates on that little cylinder there. It does that due to the transformation, but it adds a bit of articulation. Uh, then you have a hinge here, straight up, down. Then you have a hinge here, up, down. So that one can go all the way up due to transformation. This one can only go as far as there, so it's not quite a 90 degree. Then the wrist is on a ball, so that can rotate full 360. And it's also on a hinge, so you can get a good arch from there. Mm, and there. It depends on where you put it, really. If you go to there, you can go all the way. But I generally have it there. 
Uh, I'll show you him holding his swords in a bit. Nothing in the uh, torso, no waist swivel, teacut hips, so his Spartan kick is there. And he has a bend of just under 90 degrees. And his ankle is pivoted just here, so it can go all the way down, plus quite high up, and you have an ankle pivot quite good as well. So that's pretty cool. So quite great range of motion in the lower half. Like I said, the only grab I have is there's no bicep swivel or even an elbow swivel. And as you have a sword wielding web, uh, character, I think that would have been very preferred. I have a second one of these, and I'm currently working on a custom swivel, which is pretty much done. In fact, I can show you what I've done so far. And then you guys can tell me what you think. So there you go, he holds the swords very nicely. And uh, now I've got to find, here it is. And as you can see, he has this part here. I've only done it on the one so far, and it's a bit loose because I need to tighten it up. But I will show you quickly. And you can see, it, I need to trim it back a bit, but it doesn't stop the wheel from moving really. It's a bit higher, so like if I scrape that back, it'll be absolutely fine, it wouldn't affect it. And if I go into transformation, you watch it fall apart now, just to prove me a point. <laughs> so circuit music in. Do you know what's in my head? Because uh, my nephew, a while back, watched Madagascar 3. And my head is a sponge for annoying theme tunes. So annoying. I believe I've said this before in my video. Uh, so that's why I have the circus theme tune in my head. Because I heard something a while back and there it is. You'd think that'd be a gift, but it really isn't. Great for pub quizzes. <laughs> okay. Uh, and. And. And, now as I said, this is kind of a bit of a prototype, it's a bit looser than I'd like, so I need to tighten up. But if I just show you the difference, my feet going flush. This one can go all the way up to there, like before, and it can rotate. So if I put a sword in his hand, he can actually go to swipe someone. Ta -da. Um, so I think that's really just like so much better um, in hindsight I think it might be better if I put it on the elbow there opposed to up here so I might do that for this side like I said it's a bit of a prototype it was just a, a test to see how well it works but you know I think that's just so much better you tell me you can actually put his sword in an angle where hits a sword. Anyway, moving on. As you can see, he can hold his swords very nicely. Um, they do fit in his hands very snug. They're not loose. I think I could even maybe pick it up by the sword. So that's pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, you know, very cool. There's uh, the swords themselves. Um, don't really have a lot of detail in them. They have um, like a bit of markings on them. Just gonna focus. Um, don't know how well that's coming up. It's kind of like they just look like dots, to be honest. I think they're supposed to be Cybertronian markings, but they don't really come out as that. They just look like dots. Uh, nothing really special in handle. No paints really. I think it's a, a grey plastic with a silver painted blade. Um, that's obviously the cheapest way of doing it. So they're not very big either. I think they should be maybe like that long. But you can get an upgrade kit for him, which I will get. Uh, Shapeways have an upgrade kit which has a two blasters which is clipped into his hand and a grenade which just clips into his belt. So that's pretty funky. I do want to get that. I want so much things from Shapeways. I haven't actually got any though. Uh, just like money's been crazy. But oh, blurry, blurry. Sorry guys. If I straight focus that, I keep forgetting to look at the camera. I'm these guys are so technical you have to concentrate so anyway that's uh oh back view there you go forgot about that as well 
I'm doing terrible this video, I apologise guys. Okay, so there's uh, Will Jack in his route mode. So now let's put him back into his vehicle mode. Take out his blades, grab the uh, wing panel, rotate that around, rotate that around, close, 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 close. See, so you have to close that all up so it's nice and flush. You then want to rotate the legs outwards, point the toes. You can actually clip them together and do this. Bring down the, um, put the knee pads in, bring around the wheel, bring it down all the way, around and down. Then unclip here and here, goes round and in, and in, he says. You then want to unpeg this part from here, from here, here and here. Then you want to lift that up at the same time, push the head down this time. Pull the white part out, and that goes all the way up. And then you kind of just click that into there. Bring the legs up, hinges here, all the way. At the same time, bring in the uh, chest part, I guess, out. Bring that down, and then that goes back into there. Line is up. Now flip this upside down. These parts go up, and these parts go down. And you have to kind of get the hand in that hole there. So up, down, hand. You have to keep the hand at that angle for it to go, like I said, in that gap just there. Okay, once that's all in and lined up, just push it all snug. Line up that groove. Line up that groove. In, in. Connected, connected. Line everything up nicely. Make it snug fit. Put these facing outwards on the feet there then ladies and gentlemen we'll jump back in his vehicle mode this is a really great transformation like I said it's only got two pretty many gripes with the arms if you see it pick it up there's a few versions of him out now because there's a grey orange and green one I think they're supposed to be a different character I don't know and then you've also got the uh, Beast Hunters one which has come out not too long ago which has got a few extra spikes and things on it like I said if you see this guy pick him up he's a great figure and he's a great addition to your Transformers Prime collection anyway thanks a lot for watching as usual leave comments links below please subscribe and I'll catch you guys later bye bye